that he's talking to himself again. In this video, I'm going to show how I made a rather unusual LED eyeball light using all different techniques from body casting, resin casting, uh, even wood turning. Stay tuned and see how I got on. I start by making a housing for the light. I use an acrylic tube and cut a section from this, then make a lid for it uh, from another sheet of acrylic. Make sure it's a snug fit. I then cut a groove in it to allow room for the wires. And I'm using an LED halo ring light for this, an amber coloured one. I'm just sealing the lid in place and fixing the LED ring at the same time using a bit of super glue. Then to create a simple reflector I'm using some aluminium foil tape. Just testing the light, make sure it still works. I'm now creating the iris. I'm using a piece of acrylic and I'm drilling the pupil hole through using my drill press and then uh, sanding it to round on my sanding station. Adding a bit of contour and then I'm shaping it a bit more, a bit more contouring using a Stanley knife. There you go, just rounded the front. Now I'm filing some grooves into the iris. Uh, using a mini rasp just adding some detail so I'm gradually adding more and more grooves to it and cl cleaning up the, the grooves by dragging a knife blade through them I've cut a little tube section uh, off a tool tube it's what, something that a, a gouge got delivered in I'm mixing up some fast set epoxy putting the uh, end of the tube in that and gluing that to the back of the iris got some slow set epoxy now mixing that up and I'm painting a really thin layer of this over the front of the iris and now for some gold leaf that my friend David Lowe professional wood turner gave me and I'm just uh, applying a sheet of that to the front of the iris and I'm patting it down with a, uh, a foam brush. Once the glue's set, once the epoxy's set, I scratch out the details using uh, an awl, I'm brushing away any excess gold leaf with a brush. Here I'm mixing out some Opticast 2000 clear polyurethane resin from MPFG. Being careful to wear it out properly, and then I'm just syringing that into my sphere mould. This will create the uh, lens at the front. Using a little mini flame to get rid of any bubbles, then it goes into the pressure pot. In the meantime, I put a meniscus of the uh, resin over the iris, and I glue down and seal the electrics onto the uh, the reflector box using some hot glue. Here's a brass tube for running the wires through and this also acts as a breather um, to the uh, light the light housing so that when it goes in the pressure pot there's no chance of collapsing the light housing I'm seating the iris uh, into a little thin layer of um, clear resin again and just topping it up then I'm using easy inlay uh, mother of pearl that Scott Grove gave me I'm pouring a bit more resin into the uh, centre and I'm just putting this rubber cap that came off the tool tube just to keep bits out of the uh, pupil running some more resin round the outside and in goes the flaked mother of pearl this stuff's brilliant you have to check out Scott Grove's website and what I'm doing is adding more and more resin and more and more mother of pearl and this will form the white of the eye just checking my measurements periodically. Just gradually building that up, layer by layer. And between each layer, it goes into the uh, pressure pot. Just adding some more resin, getting rid of any bubbles. Now I'm seating the uh, light housing. 
This is Illumilite Gold Metallic Powder and it's for dusting the inside of uh, silicon moulds. You dust the mould thoroughly and then tap off all the excess. So I ended up with gold everywhere. You can see the, how well it works. And then mixing up some MBFG black polyurethane. Mixing this thoroughly. You've got to work quick though because it sets quick. Pouring that into the mould. This is after it's been in the pressure pot for an hour. The big reveal. Really pleased with how that came out. And here I'm just picking away the flash. And trimming off the uh, sprue at the back. Checking it works still. Yep, good result. I'm then getting ready to uh, do a bit of body casting, just checking the grip on the glass original. And I'm mixing up some uh, alginate here, which is uh, one to one powder and uh, water by volume. This was uh, more stuff that um, Scott Grove gave me at Makers Central. I'm very grateful to him for that. And uh, I've actually got a paddle mixer on my drill here, which is really the best way of doing this. And I'm mixing up till it's a really smooth consistency. Holding the glass ball, dip my hand in, lift it out a couple of times and let the, uh, the alginate run off. This helps get rid of any bubbles. And then it's a case of just waiting with your hand stuck in this until it's set. Very temperature dependent. And here I'm wiggling my fingers and just uh, getting my hand out, leaving the ball in place. Just warming it up and making sure it's dry with a hairdryer. This polyurethane doesn't like moisture. And I'm pouring some black polyurethane into the mould. And I'm rolling the mould around. So I make sure I get into all the uh, fingertips and everything. Adding some more uh, polyurethane. And I roll it around a bit more. So some bits of it will be solid and some bits will be hollow. And here I'm turning it out. And breaking away the alginate. And there it is. A hand holding the glass ball. You can pull the uh, ball in and out of the fingers. Here I'm shaping the uh, wrist just to make it flat so it sits properly and acts as a stand. And I'm dremeling out a hole in uh, the back finger and drilling through to that hole with a long drill bit. And that's to accept the wires. Then over to my old friend Milliput. And I'm mixing up quite a bit of black Milliput here and packing out the wrist. This makes it stronger and gives something to screw into. A little bit of soldering for the LED ring light. And I'm just using a bit of shrink tube now just to cover up the joints, insulating them. Now to make a base. This was a tatty old piece of beach that um, I'd been given. I'm just truing it up here using the bowl gouge, getting it to the diameter I want. And uh, checking the uh, it's flat. Now marking out a recess in the bottom. This recess is so that it fits on my chuck, but also um, to allow room for the wires and the bolts. Just changing the jaws on my Easy Wood Tools Easy Chuck, and I've turned the uh, base around and I'm sanding the top. Two coats of sanding sealer and then Yorkshire grit. Here I'm tapping some threads into the milliput in the uh, in the wrist. Milliput takes the thread very very well. I'm then um, mounting the eyeball into the fingers and bolting it through the base into the wrist, which is uh, quite a neat way of um, fixing it. Really, it worked very well. Just checking my wiring; all still works. Absolutely delighted with that. And there we have it, another eyeball project finished. Very pleased with this one, calling this the golden eye uh, for obvious reasons. 
uh, gold leaf iris and I used some Alumalite gold sort of dusting powder to gold the back of the eye. Resin cast of my hand which I did hold in the original ball which was the master for the spherical mould. There we are, runs off 12 volt supply, bolted in, I uh, cut thread, tapped threads into the milliput I used in the base, uh, it's held in by a couple of bolts and I put a little 12 volt connector through. I'll just plug it in. There you go. It's got sort of a lens effect in the front. I'm very, very pleased with that. Hope you like it. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much to all my subscribers. I'm over 13,000 now, which I'm absolutely delighted about. So, um, yeah, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back soon with some more videos. I've got one more eyeball video coming up. I think I've got a couple of wood turning ones before that. Anyway, back soon. Cheers. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly had fun doing it. And it was uh, an opportunity to use lots of different techniques in one project. Um, please like, share and subscribe. It costs nothing to subscribe. And it means you'll be notified whenever I put up a new video. And thank you so much to all my subscribers. All right, I shall see you all soon. More rubbish coming soon.